Here we go. Oh my god. Look at the damage. He wasn't hitting his defense system because he thought we'd be an easy kill. Holy... Hey guys, what is going on? We were trying out a bunch of different things in this video. The new Manny Pilot, the Freedom Favner, the Nuclear Amplifier, and some Mark III Sonic weapons. This build is absolutely insane, just based on the builds I've already made. So this Nuclear Amplifier, long story short to simplify it, is every 20,000 damage you deal to any of the enemy team, you get 1% damage boost up to 80 so up to 80 percent i'm pretty sure that's how the module works if not let me know but having more nuclear amplifiers so if you run three of them you still can only get to that 80 percent damage increase because it maxes out there but you get there a bit faster but we ran it with overdrive too so we have overdrive right now so we'll also get another 50 percent and then the manny pilot helps us deal even more damage so let's see how this goes and this Freedom Favner does have 10% more durability. Oh, here's a Aujun. And man, now I'm starting... Uh, okay. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, now he's dead. Jeez, he didn't even hit the ground. He didn't even hit the ground. And I'm starting to really understand why the Favner is so good. And I didn't really get it before, but it's because of its mobility. Uh-oh, that's a Favner there, though. Uh-oh. Ooh. And we're also running a paralysis drone, so that's going to help us deal more damage when we're healing and also lock down enemies because those are the microchips I loaded up. But the Favner is so hard to kill when it's flying. When it's just flying in circles over and over again, no matter what weapons you use unless they're lock-on weapons, it is very difficult to shoot at, whether they have their shield on or not. This guy's getting caught on the ceiling, but then we took him out. So look on the left side of the screen right now. See all those boosts? We have damage boosts, and then you see 70, it says 78 damage. That means it's stacked up 78 times our nuclear amplifier, so we're doing 78% more damage. And then we also have our overdrive, then we have our Manny skills, and then, man, it's just crazy stuff. And this legendary pilot, uh oh. Scorpion almost got me, he almost got me. I think he teleported back. But I was going to say, the Manny Legendary Pilot, it looks like a pretty impressive pilot. It's definitely one. I thought the Adrian Chong Pilot was the best for a while, just because, you know, it's simple, it's easy, you get the damage, increased damage for any robot you run it on. And now the Manny Pilot's kind of a similar idea, where you can run it on any robot, and it's pretty universal. Uh-oh. We got two shields for a second there. Oh, that Scorpion keeps trying to get us. Okay, okay. Uh oh, we're going after him. So we're dealing insane damage right now. See, that's why we just smoke that scorpion. That's this guy's AFK, I think. Oh no! Oh my god, what the See how easy I broke through that shellbot's shields though? If his whole team didn't just drop in and help him and my lock on got messed up, I would have easily taken him out. This nuclear amplifier, I don't even know what to think about it, because it's, it's such a weird idea. It's like a combination of overdrive, thermonuclear reactor, and, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm curious to see how it affects other robots in the game. Like, can I run these on old school robots? Like, what's it going to do? It could be awesome. See, look how difficult it was just to kill that Favner with, like, no health left. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to get taken out. What's this guy running a griffin for? Alright, let's run our Titan here. So this is the same build I had last video. I kept it in my hangar. Jeez, we just EMP'd. And yeah, I made the mistake. I kind of just misspoke last time. But yeah, the EMP doesn't reduce damage. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a behemoth back there. And you can see, when we don't have our ability, this build isn't that amazing. It's only when you go up in your ability when you have that rocket launcher where you're really dealing some serious damage. Alright, here we go. 
here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, let's fly up. The rockets are a bit hard to aim, but... Boom, there we go. Alright, so let's keep moving forward. EMP that guy. Uh-oh, we're going down. We're going down. Ugh. Okay. We gotta take it over. We got a pretty good hold on this game right now. Man, I'm still blown away. Like, I've been running that Freedom Favor for a couple games now. And once you get your damage stacked up, that's the only thing. You need a good robot where you can get on a kill streak. Because the kill streak's everything. If you can get a kill streak going, then you can get your damage way up and pulverize enemies. And that's what we were doing. And I forgot to mention, I didn't even realize the Mark III weapons were coming this update until the update dropped. But now you can Mark III all your weapons. It's not as annoying as getting your weapons to Mark II, because that's where you have to drop a lot of gold and time. But Mark III weapons, man, it's coming. Imagine when there's Mark IV, Mark V, Mark VI. I'm not really a huge fan of it just because I feel like it puts... Uh-oh, we're getting... Uh, can we escape out of here? We're just going to run. I'm just going to run. Run! 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 Ooh, okay. And I think it's 1,500 gold to... Uh-oh. Okay, let's see if we can grab this beacon and finish scam. I think it's 1,500 gold to get your weapons to Mark III. But if you have 50 weapons... That's, like, what, 75,000 gold? Dude, that's ridiculous. I think we're going to finish this game off right now. Boom, we got the kill. Didn't get the beacon, but we got the win. But yeah, I think Mark III weapons are going to kind of widen the gap between top-level players and lower-level players just because it's more gold you got to spend. But I guess that's the way that the game's going. All right, let's drop in one more game. Ooh, Canyon. Let's see how this works, because... We have sonic weapons which are close range, but then this, the Favner itself is a bit of a more long range uh, robot with its flying and its built in weapon. Alright, I don't want to hit it just yet. You know what I would love to do too? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my god, are we going to die right here? I can't move. I can't move. Okay, we didn't lose any weapons. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna back up. We didn't lose any weapons. And I'm starting to think the Fabner could be a really good counter to shell bots. If you put the right weapons and just stay flying, they cannot hit you. They're not fast enough. Geez, they're really attacking this beacon right now. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Jeez. Okay, see, this is where lock-on weapons can hit us now, but it's so difficult to hit this thing in the air, especially if you have boosters and speed upgrades. This thing flies. Like, you need really good aim just to hit it. And even if you have good aim, like, I I think I have decent aim, but I constantly miss the founders when they're flying. If you have rockets, there's no way you're hitting one of these things, unless he's standing still. Let's take down this hawk. If you can see on the left hand side of the screen, our damage is starting to stack up because we're getting on a kill streak. We're at 41 now. 42. We're building, we're building. Jeez, they're all dropping in here. They're grabbing five beacons on them. I really want to see how the Fabner with this crazy damage overdrive and like all these upgrades goes against the Titan. Let's see if we can go against one of their titans and see how much damage we can deal. Because I think this thing would do pretty impressive damage. Or it should deal pretty impressive damage to a titan. I'd also love to try it against a super durable Fenrir. Because those things are annoying. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. Okay, this... That Aomeng didn't have much health left. Okay, we have crazy damage right now. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Oh my god. Look at the damage. He wasn't hitting his defense system because he thought we'd be an easy kill. Holy. We just took that guy out with two sonic weapons. Our damage is insane right now. 
Oh, we almost took out two. You guys, you guys saw that, right? We just absolutely annihilated that Minos. Holy jeez. Okay, this game's just about over. But guys, man, this nuclear amplifier, I think it might change the game. This might be a really big deal. In the Fafner, hate to say it, but start upgrading your Fafners because it's going to be... It's going to be a major meta shift to the Fafner meta. But thanks for watching the video, guys. More videos to come with the crazy new update. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. See you guys next video.